Hey guys, welcome back to the CNSL Season 7. Right now we're in the losers match of the round of 16 Group D. Our two Korean players in this group going to face off in a Zerg vs. Zerg best of three match. It's going to be Miso going up against Hyun. Uh, hard to say who's going to be favored here, so let's just jump in. And here we go in the top left of Citadel. Our Zerg player returning from StarCraft 2. It is Hyun. And in the top right, none other than Miso. All right, so Zerg versus Zerg, best of three. Uh, I guess first off, I'll, I'll note that the IDs are not uh, ones that you might recognize. HDY are the initials Handuyol uh, for uh, Miso here. Michinge is basically, it means like crazy dog. Uh, it's just an ID that Hyun uses for some reason. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there, there you go. Really fantastic IDs. I know. I love the numbers in them as well. It's like real, real old school ICQ vibes coming out. <laughs> now, uh, anyways, it is ZVZ, right? So a really kind of hard to predict. We start off with Miso with a nine pool. And we'll see where he goes from there. Does drone afterwards. We'll see if he does extractor trick as well. Yeah, it looks like he might. He might. I mean, he might just start mining gas here as well. Yeah, it does look that way. Looks like an overlord will be coming up next. Uh, over here on the side of Hyun. Now, he's going to go ahead and go hatch first. So this is definitely pretty heavy favored for Miso. Uh, there have been instances where hatchery first can hold. I don't know if that's going to be the case, especially with this Overlord scouting in the correct direction. Yeah, I'm going to start mining that gas. And uh, definitely a very aggressive opening here from me, so no big surprise either. I've always looked at Hyun as more of like a mid-game type of Zerg. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, definitely just like aggressive from minute one, generally, from Miso. So Miso right now making those six Zerglings. He's going to be pretty happy when he finds this hatchery first. Uh, very likely he'll be able to kill that hatch as well. Generally, you make a bunch of lings and bring some drones down to try to fight as well, but we don't see it successful that often. Zergling speed first as well, so that really goes towards it working for him also. And uh, he sees the creep, so now he's going to know that he can just send the zerglings over to the left. What? Okay, there we go. He's trying to dodge overlords, I think, is the thing. He knows the general scout paths of these overlords, but yeah, I think uh, he may have just caught a glimpse of that. So this is going to be an issue. Uh, layer on the way after speed. So everything looking very good for me. So right now, here come those six lings. And do you let it finish? Looks like he will. Needs that larva to have a chance, I think. Bring in a lot of drones down, man. Nine drones. So he's going to try to save the hatchery. I don't think that's going to work out well for him uh, with speed. And now two more lings coming over as well. Okay, gets a decent drill there. And you notice he moved it over, so it's harder to drill those lings. Now, more lings are coming up. So this is the important part, right? Already, they're equal in those drone counts. Two lings go towards the main. Kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. I thought you'd bring those over and just try to take good concaves here. Uh, but yeah, going after the drones, the more drones will uh, come down to this natural. Can Hyun actually hold here? His hatchery getting super, super low, unfortunately. He is sacrificing Zerglings to do that. So the Zergling advantage does go towards Hyun. He's one drone down right now, but he's getting Zergling speed. And yeah, with that Zergling advantage, it looks like he's up about two lings right now. But you can see that a uh, creep colony coming up. So definitely right now, uh, Miso is looking towards getting a sunken up to help bolster his defense. He knows that that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. That also gives Hyun back the drone lead, although it doesn't matter that much. Well, obviously it matters, but like, it's a funny situation. Oh my God, is he gonna make a sunken? That is kind of crazy. Now, dude, Miso comes up, kills a drone. Really, really strong move. I think he's actually gonna go offensive sunken because this is gonna be out of range. So if he just makes one over here, it's gonna put unbelievable pressure on. And since he has more lings, you can't really come out to fight it. I feel like the counter to that is to make another sunken. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. I love this move. I love this move. 
Okay, so he comes up and actually starts to engage. The Ling count getting pretty reasonably high, and he does actually go for the his own second sunken. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be held. <laughs> A little bit anticlimactic at the end. Let's go into game number two. All right, so uh, getting into game number two, we're going to be on a four-player map in Radeon. We have in the bottom left, Hyun. And in the top left, we have Miso. So Miso winning that first game up 1-0. Obviously, the loser here going to be eliminated and no chance to advance to that round of eight, which is, I think, probably a place they both feel like they deserve to be in. But this group, man, it's a tough one. In times, they are a change in. Uh, really, I tell you, I'm I'm excited as well for the next Zerg vs. Zerg series. Someone had asked in a previous uh, video, like, what is what kind of format? Like, are these all played at the same time? Can people watch the matches? Generally, all the players in the group are watching the matches. They are not playing. These are all played in order, like you're watching them. So, yeah, uh, these ZBZs could be something to give a few tendencies uh, to Xiao Shui to look at for whoever's going to come up to play him in that deciders match. Yeah, anyways, uh, in the second game, we have uh, the nine pool once again. This time, both sides. Hyun does not want to get caught off guard. With that hatchery first play again, can't really blame him for it. By the way, both of their overlords scouting horizontally, so they're not going to find each other. They should probably find each other at about the same time. And they're doing mirrored builds. So this is a really, really even game. Very likely to come down to some tactics as opposed to someone having an advantage and trying to lean upon it or their opponent trying to utilize some some tactics to, uh, you know, fight fight their way back. You know, we saw that from, from Hyun in that previous game. I love that he, he brought the drone. It was like a good idea, right? You got to remember that when you're going for a hatch first against nine pool and your close spawns especially, it's like almost always a loss. It's not always a loss, right? But it's almost always a loss. So in a situation like that, like you really got to do something crazy. You know, your opponent has higher tech. Your opponent already has the Zergling speed. Uh, they killed your hatchery. And it's like, well, what? I mean, what do you have? <laughs> like th in that case, he did have a slight Zergling advantage, but that was it. And it just it was not enough, especially when you count in uh, the travel distance and everything. You know, you're trying to rally your Zerglings across, but he's producing off one hatch. And, you know, I like the idea of the sunk, though, because attacking straight in was never going to work. So cool stuff wish that we could see more more things like that in zbz but here we go they're gonna meet right exactly like literally exact this is the center <laughs> it's exactly halfway between the mains uh so they hit each other and actually uh miso has a slightly better engage so far uh he killed one link this is not the end of the world uh but it actually you know it is it is somewhat impactful at least you know you're down one unit Pulling the lings back now. Uh, the interesting thing is that Hyun did break off two full health lings to the side. He's going to have Zergling speed. This is a very sulky esque move. The two lings off to the side, you kind of just try to hold your ramp. And then you counterattack with the two lings. And, like, the thing is, yeah, two lings can fight two lings. But they're slippery, man. And he's going to get in there and go out for drones. Dude, this is going to be a huge advantage to Hyun. Huge advantage to Hyun. Already gets a drone. That's big. That's very, very big. Two drones. And look, the two lings are coming back. But even though they come back, it's going to take a minute to actually kill these. Two more lings pop. Three drones. Okay. Uh, so Hyun is, like, almost certainly going to win this game. But there's, like, a little bit of play left, I think. Right? Maybe something like you get some Scourge that, that connect, right? Maybe you get uh, your first few Scourge do well or something like that. But, you know, losing like three drones, that is super, super painful. Let's count the lings. We got 13 lings here. And that is going to be going up against uh, 14 lings. Yes. So one more ling for Miso. One less drone for Miso. Did I count that right? Well, the one Ling, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, we had two in the mineral line as well. Okay, so he's actually got 14 Lings now. I'm sorry. 15 Lings. There we go. That makes more sense. I'm like, those numbers don't add up, Artosis. Uh, anyways, he has the nice circling conga line up here. And it looks like uh, Miso going to, well, not really set one up his own, but is going to set up his Lings. 
kind of in a defensive stance, honestly. Like, his opponent's slings can't come down the ramp. You're not really doing anything else with this. The one ling running in and out, just checking timings on everything. You will notice that the overlords are all kind of getting pulled into directions where they're not going to die, right? So here comes Hyun's back home. Here comes Miso's back home. They don't want these to die to those early mutilists that they're both surely making. We have that earlier uh, overlord coming out for Hyun as well. So you can see that kind of reflected and, uh, you know, the the extra income he's been able to, to gain. Uh, we did have a couple more drones made by Miso to try to catch up here as well. Mute is coming out on both sides. Trying to go after the sling. Okay, does get the ling. Catches that ling. So one drone advantage right now for Miso, but it was later. It does matter when the drones come out. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred drone advantage, right? If uh, you only had it for one minute and they had a hundred drone advantage or a 50 drone advantage for nine minutes before that or something. Okay, I know that's not a great example, but uh, truly it does matter when they come out. That's why early game losses are so painful. They just kind of stack upon each other based on what you can, what you can afford. Natural expansion being taken. Looks like uh, we also want to see that from Miso. Just lots of mutas, lots of lings being made on both sides. Now the Scourge starting to come out. You know, obviously they're both going to be a little bit low on money. Let's do a muta count here. So it's four mutas total and then lots of Scourge production. One more muta on the way. So one more muta on the way here as well. But he's already got five mutas. So you see that extra mutalisk popping out. So he is going to be, it's going to be like six versus five mutas. And then also both sides will have a bunch of Scourge. Not sure who's going to pull the trigger and go. Neither of them really have any vision on the other side of the map. <laughs> I can see, like just watching a ZVZ that looks like this, I can see this feels like it would be like kind of a frustrating one where it's like, okay, we're both going to optimize some production here. Uh, you know, you probably eventually want to attack uh, if your opponent doesn't come across the map. Like, you want to make sure that your opponent do, didn't do something crazy greedy, like get a carapace, flyer carapace upgrade type of thing. That's kind of in my mind is like a reason why you may want to attack. Because if you're both literally just sitting here making Muta Scourge, it's probably best to never attack, right? Like, just to sit there. But the fact that they could be doing something else, like get that carapace upgrade, you should probably eventually go across to see if you can catch them and punish them from doing that. Now, here comes the attack uh, from Hyun. And he does have that Mutalisk advantage, don't forget. So that is huge. The Scourge coming up. He's doing moving shots. Really good micro. In fact, his Scourge connect as well. I believe Hyun is ahead here. So five Mutas. Four against four. And the Lings are actually getting it. Oh, that's funny. It's going to be the Lings making a big difference. And Miso's going to GG, and that means a game number three. So game number three is going to be on Retro. In the top right, we have Hyun. And in the bottom left, we have Miso. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's CVZ and we had like just little, little differences, okay? So game one, we had Miso getting a gigantic advantage with nine pull against Hatch first. Okay, he won. Game two, what was the big difference? They did the exact same build. Hyun picked off two of his own links, ran them around, and then ran in when speed was done and killed three drones. And that gave him an edge that never fell away. And he had to wait a little bit to make that edge work, right? Like sometimes you get that edge and you might think, well, we can attack now. Well, no, you traded some army for some economy, right? Like, and obviously if you had like two more links than your opponent, maybe you trade a little economy for that too. So you do have an edge, but sometimes you got to wait for that to show itself. And it did show itself in the form of uh, extra mutalisks for Hyun. You know, when you're killing three drones, that's a high percentage. It's like 25, 30% of your opponent's economy. So anyways, uh, you know, ZVZ, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> These little tiny edges that build up. I feel like if I was a ZVZ, as a Zerg player, ZVZ would frustrate me. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know. You really, it feels like you got to be super, 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 super dialed in with everything. And even then you can just get caught. Now, nine pool plus gas against Miso's hatchery first. 
So like I was saying in game one, it's generally a win for the uh, nine pool player. The thing we should mention is that it's cross spawn, right? So the travel distance for the Lings is considerably more, right? Every single unit that you send is going to take considerably longer to rally across, right? So it's just, it's harder to break them. And it's going to be layer first here for Hyun. So this is probably because there's not speed first. Remember that Miso did speed first and was close spawn. And the map was Citadel, which is actually the shortest close spawn rush distance in this map pool. Actually, Troy might be, my bad. Uh, but Citadel might be number two then. Uh, that's that's my guess. Uh, but I know Citadel is, is closer than Retro. And he's going in the wrong direction as well. So, like, there's... Uh, Miso's position with this build is so much better than Hyun's was when he did it. And if you end up holding the nine pool with this, you're generally going to be very, very happy about that. Now, one thing to mention, he does have a layer on the way. A lot of times, this build will turn into mass Zerglings because you have double hatchery, right? So you just have more larvae. You can overwhelm your opponent with those speedlings, which will slow his mutas down and kind of like allow you to equalize that a little bit. And then you have your second gas, even though they mine more gas than you. Now, as Hyun gets down here, he's not going to be too happy that he went nine pool and then finds him late and it's like a hatch first and totally we have uh, Miso being completely fine, but he has more lings on the way. He does have that zergling speed about to finish. Miso, nothing but lings being produced right now. We do have a drone for Hyun. So Hyun is trying to kind of catch up his economy a bit. You see the drones being pulled down. Miso's up. Well, he was up three drones until just a second ago, right? So he knows that he needs to pull these down to help him fight. And if some of them can live, then good on him. And actually a good engage so far here from Miso. I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't seem like Hyun's going to get very much damage here. A lot more lings being made by Miso. So Miso's absolutely going to go on the offensive himself. He, as he's pop, he's going to attack in and force these lings back. And as uh, Hyun sees those, when he sees how many lings are being made, he's going to know that he needs to go up his ramp, sit in an arc, and wait for his spire. So the Mutalisks can not only help to kill off some lings, but they can do things like kill overlords that are so far out in the map and also for spores. That's that's like super, super common. In fact, these types of games, I think can be pretty fun because it, as long as you're forcing spores on one side, the game can get absolutely wild in this matchup. Now, there's Evolution Chamber from Miso and he actually keeps his lings back. Interesting. Notice that there's a little group of three. Yun trying to that same type of tactic. He's gonna run one down at least. This Overlord just being sacrificed staying in here, it seems. Muta's going to be popping. Now, there's a few different ways you can look at trying to bust this. So first off, spores are going to be made. Spores are going to be made, right? Now, uh, this area is going to be well defended. He's kept his lings at home. And, you know, he has the uh, the spores coming up, right? So that's that's pretty well defended. But you can do things... Like, mass lings here as Hyun. Oh, God, he flies in over the spore. Uh, you can mass lings as Hyun and bring them down and keep the mutas here so that no units can come from here to there, right? Or the mutas will kill them. And then try to hit with mass ling at the natural, having more lings than them to break through. Things like that sometimes are done. I don't know if he's going to try a tactic like that. We're going to wait and see. But right now, he's down seven drones. So he has to do something, and he has to do it soon. Second gas here for Miso. He has his Spire coming up. Honestly, I think that he should throw down another Spore. This is getting a little bit scary, uh, but you can get to Mutalisk numbers as the one hatch Muta player to kill Spores. Now, like I said, I feel like he should have had a Spore here, and you can see these have to run. The Muta's blocking these bottom patches. He's up so many. He's up 11 drones. There's, like, no reason not to make additional Spores, in my opinion. It just... It makes, it makes a lot of sense. Like, he's going to win the long-term game if he just keeps this ridiculous drone count going. He has so many drones, we might actually just see a third hatch as well. That's like a real possibility at this point. 
So Carapace gets started by Hyun first. That actually makes a lot of sense. When you're getting into a game like this, you've got to think about it like, okay, Carapace is going to be important. Carapace, of course, reducing mutilus damage to each other by three because of the glaives. So huge, huge upgrade. Oh, I'm really surprised he's flew out. Really surprised. Look at that. Hyun gets a free muta, and then two are so low, they may as well be free. Totally crazy there. Uh, that that was that was definitely a blunder there from Miso. I felt like Miso was ahead, and I actually, I think he's still fine. But that was a, that was like there's no reason to give that up. Now Hyun is droning. Uh, well, he did drone somewhat heavily. Like he's he definitely added quite a few drones, getting some overlords now, as he does get supply blocked. Yeah, he's gonna drone more. I was gonna say he he definitely needs to do that. Uh, in this type of game. I could see Hyun taking a third base. And I could definitely see Miso making a third hatchery, but he absolutely can't make it outside of his defensive formation. So we'll see if either of those things occur. Hmm. Yeah, just basically mutas being made as well as a few drones being squeezed out here and there. And there's that third hatch that that's been uh, we've been talking about a little bit. When you have that type of drone count, like you just you can't really even spend on <laughs> on two hatches. Not with all these cheap Zerg units. Still don't know from Hyun's side if he's going to be doing something similar or you know maybe taking that third base as mentioned. Both sides at this point going to wait for their carapace before going anywhere. Both could be thinking that they might gain an edge from that, but it looks like they'll finish at almost exactly the same time. Hyun's maybe just a handful of seconds before. The odds of having an engagement during those seconds, very, very low. Mutilus count up at 10. This mutilus count, it is catching up, right? He's at nine. He's at nine. He's making a hell of a lot of mutas right now. That extra drone count really working out for him. He's keeping his gas down all the way. You know, Hyun has mined a hell of a lot of gas, so uh, he still has quite a bit in the bank, still making quite a few mutilisks. See if they start plus one uh, flyer attack really quickly afterwards. I feel like that actually might be the right play. Little Ling scout in there from Hyun to check on the mutilisk count. You're gonna see it's huge. Okay, Carapace is done, both sides. And they both instantly start plus two Carapace. So plus two Carapace reduces incoming attacks by two instead of the three of the uh, original upgrade. So it is technically better than plus one flyer attack. Okay, so reducing two damage is better than adding one damage. But that's a cost difference of 100-100 for the attack and 225-225 for the second armor defense, right? So that's... That is an additional Mutalisk, basically, that you're giving up for the additional damage that's prevented per Mutalisk shot. So it definitely does work out to being correct. I would say especially uh, for uh, for Miso's side, since he has all those spores. By the way, he makes his third base first. Again, I felt like Hyun was the one more able to do this because he had map control for a very long time. At this point, no one really does. Uh, I love the Lings out on the map, by the way. Just You can see him fanning them out. There's so many mutas now that Lings aren't going to do too much unless you're completely out of position. Starts this gas. Dude, I think Miso's just going to take this. I think Hyun has missed any opportunity to capitalize on what he had. I think what he had, the one thing he could have done is get that third base quickly. And after he didn't do that, and now the mutalist counts are really, really similar, It you know, we're just going to get more gas mined. And that's going to be more Mutalisks, more Scourge. And I think we're just, like, after he mines this for, like, a minute, think about this. You mine this for one minute, it's three additional Mutas. An insane uh, difference, right? Even one Muta can change the battle so, so heavily. I have no idea even what these counts are. It is absurd how many Mutas these guys have. We're up in the 20s, I think. All right, here we go. Hyun attacks in. A lot of Scourge coming. We don't really have the Scourge from Miso. Hyun may be hitting an excellent attack here. And it seems like still over 12, still over 12. 
Dude, there are so many mutas here. I don't know how you are even supposed to keep track of this. But it looks like Hyun... No, no, Miso is coming out ahead. Hyun gonna end up losing these mutas, I think. Yeah, we're closer to those rally points. And don't forget, he does have that additional gasping mind. So Hyun gonna lose his mutas. He doesn't have that additional base. A Zergling counterattack with what's left over. And that's gonna be that. Hyun going to be eliminated and miso advancing to that final decider match should be going up against xiao shui in our next match guys i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching